Hey friends, today's lesson is for module four, lesson 27. You know, I was just sitting here thinking about my favorite number. Do you have a favorite number? I certainly have a favorite number. It's the number 10. Do you know why I like 10 so much? Because I get to carry 10 around with me all day long. You probably do too. It's our counting sticks. Yeah, go ahead and hold up your good fingers. You thought they were fingers. They're counting sticks to me. I like to wiggle them around, and they're really good for helping me with math. The great thing about having our counting sticks is there are 10 of them. See? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you know what? Our counting sticks are great for when we're doing math. And they're going to help us out today. So go ahead and stretch out those 10 counting sticks and get them ready. Because our learning goal for today says, I can decompose 10, breaking apart 10, using a story, drawings, and number bonds. And we're going to be kind of holding up our fingers to help us a little bit, okay? All right, so I had some dolphin friends come to help us out. I bet you can take a guess, but how many dolphins do you think there are? <laughs> if you said 10, you're totally right. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yes, we're good. All right, now these dolphins love to play. Have you ever seen a playful dolphin? Oh, they're so cute. They love to play so much that they got out some balls to play with. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six beautiful beach balls to play with. I mean, as you can see, some do not have beach balls, but most of them do. The good thing is they can share. Now, it would not be a super duper fun math lesson if we didn't have our number bond. This is where we're going to get out our counting sticks to help us. So, how many counting sticks do we have again? Ten. It's perfect. Because it matches our number of dolphins. And that was our whole amount to begin with. I'm going to put that into our number bond. All right. So, how many dolphins had, um, had beach balls to play with? Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six. There were six. All right, hold up those good counting six. What I want you to do is since all six of them have their balls, go ahead and put down six fingers. Put down your five group and then one more. How many do you have left? Yeah, four, that's our other part, see? We can even count the picture. One, two, three, four. But if you didn't want to, you could use those good counting six. And if you get fast at closing that fist of five and just then adding in whatever is one more, just like our five groups, you can see that four pretty quickly. Let's do another one. All right, dolphin friends. This time, would you like to play with something else? I knew it. I knew you'd want to play with your surfboards. Did you know the dolphins love to surf? They totally do. Let's count how many surfboards there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Ooh, seven surfboards. That's quite a bit. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. So how many dolphins were there all together? Yes. The whole amount was 10. All right. Get out those counting sticks. We said that there were seven surfboards. So go ahead and put down your five group and then count on two more. Five, six, seven. Put those fingers down too. How many fingers do you have left on your counting six? One, two, three. Yeah, three. So that's our other part. We could also look at our picture. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with surfboards and one, two, three without. So seven is a part and three is a part as well. Do you see how we can use different strategies or different ways to solve the problem? And when you get have when you start talking about tens, you can always, always, always use those good counting sticks. All right, so our learning goal said I can de decompose 10 using a story, drawings, and number bonds. Today we worked on the drawings and the number bonds and our counting six. All right, so now it's your turn. Here is a number bond. I have 10 as a whole amount, one part is two, and the other part is eight. I want you to go ahead and draw a picture to show any kind of items where there's 10 of them, but there are two are one type and eight are another. Like if my kid El Miles was here, he'd probably draw two Marios and eight Luigi's or um, two trucks and eight race cars. It can be anything. All right, I can't wait to see what you come up with for your good picture. Good luck, friends. 